Yes, this is orienteering, but perhaps not as you know it. This is trail orienteering, normally known as trail low. It's designed for those who find it hard to move through rough terrain and it's open to everyone. Physically challenged and able-bodied athletes compete on level terms and as long as the area's got wheelchair-friendly routes and interesting terrain, it is perfect for trail low. There are two kinds of competition called Prio and Tempo. In Prio, you're given a standard orienteering map at a large scale with a course marked on it. Out in the terrain, you've got to keep to the tracks and paths and at each control, there are between one and five kites placed in the terrain. Let's look at the first control on this course. There are four kites here. We labeled them A to D from the left and we're at decision point for control number one. You can go anywhere along the path, looking at the area from all possible angles. You have to decide which kite if any, is at the point marked by the centre of the circle on the map. So starting at a marked decision point, you then record your answer on a punch card or through electronic punching. There has to be one single decision point because sometimes the order of seeing the kites changes as you walk back and forth along the track. The description for control one in symbols is southern fence east corner. On the map, we can see there are two fence corners and the left one is the southernmost, which is also at the centre of the circle. So yes, the correct answer is A. You punch in box A against control number one. Here's an alternative start to this course. Which kite is correct this time? Both kites C and D fit the description fence southeast side, but you can see that D is placed where there is the right hand end of the building on the other side of the fence, whereas C is just that little bit further along to the left. So D is correct. You might have to walk along the track from the decision point to really clearly see this. The maps used for Trail Low have standard symbols and control descriptions. In Trail Low, the second column of the control descriptions shows the number of kites visible at each control. So here it's A to D. Here's another control, this one a little bit harder. So we've got five kites, A to E, and the circle is beside a thicket. Which kite is correct? Have a look at all the detail. The correct answer is B. Here's a new circle position a little bit further away. So look carefully again at the map and the terrain. There is no kite at the center of the circle. So the answer you give is Z or zero. Now we're moving a kite to the spot shown on the map. Some courses have only A or Z problems with one kite only for each circle on the map. So let's look at two examples. Are the answers here A, the kite's in the right place, or Z, it's not. First up, control 13. So we're looking up from the path southwest of the control. The circle is at the tower east corner. Is that where the kite is? No, the kite's on the south corner, so this is a Z. Here's where the kite should have been for the answer to be A. Next up, control 14, a re-entrant, a small valley. So if you look at the map, there is a distinctive tree, a control circle, the green thicket, all in the re-entrant. Now look at where the kite is. Is it in exactly the right place? So if you see, this kite is right beside the thicket. It's in the right re-entrant, but it should really be a little bit closer to the tree. So this is another Z. We're now moving the kite to the place shown by the circle. In this competition, there were 25 controls and 10 of the answers were Z. All of the other kites were correctly placed, so they were answer A. I was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2010. I, I can't really run in photo anymore and it allows me to continue doing the sport that I love. It's a problem solving, uh, interpreting the map and looking at the, the terrain and putting the two together. Colin is an experienced trailer competitor now, so here he and Ian are tackling a harder task at Newlands Corner. Detailed contour and rock terrain is really challenging and a good course planner can create some really tricky tasks for the competitor. Circle three is over a little re-entrant on the side of a bigger valley. Can you try and pick this out in the terrain? You've got to remember though that a Z answer is also possible. So kite E is at the head of the big valley. D is just in a little dip to the left. So that is the right one. 
the circle for control four is on a spur. Looking carefully at the map and then the terrain, I can line up the three spurs on the map with the three spurs in terrain. And I can see that the correct spur has a kite on it. So the answer is A. A difficult Prio course normally has between about 15 and 25 controls. There is a generous overall time limit for completing the course and the results are decided by the number of correct answers. A Prio course also includes a timed control, which the competitors visit in turn. Here, there are three tasks in quick succession and they're timed. There is a time penalty as well of 60 seconds per mistake. This decides the winner if there's a tie on the first section. And the really very best athletes in Prio can achieve full marks, so this time control can be really decisive. And as you might expect, at the end of the course, there is always plenty to discuss. Now look at the tempo. This is a sprint form of the sport. In tempo, you compete at a series of stations where you can see six flags in the terrain in front of you. You're given a set of four small map sections which are orientated to the direction in which you're looking. There are four tasks and there are six kites. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo and Foxtrot. Your time starts now. Foxtrot. Delta. Alpha. Bravo. Okay, well done. Here the first three answers were correct, but not the last one. It isn't B, it's actually Z. The circle on the map, see here, is much closer to the building than the kite is. This is where the kite should have been placed to be at the centre of the circle. This form of trail low is very challenging, especially at elite level, where the margins can be really, really small. I represented Great Britain at the 2022 World Trail Low Championships in Poland. It was an amazing experience being part of the team, able to gain people's wisdom, not just from Great Britain, but from places around the world, and to compete on some high level competition, even managing to make my first tempo final, which I think was definitely the highlight of the trip. I think my favourite thing about trail orienteering is the added difficulty that comes with it. Often with foot orienteering, you can be in the general area of the control and see it from a long way away before running to it. Whereas with this, you have to stay on the path and you have to decide from a, often a long distance whether the control is actually in the right place. Here's a tempo station in a different kind of terrain. There are again four tasks and again there are six flags and they are Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo and Foxtrot and your time starts now. Delta. Zero. Alpha. Fox dropped. Okay, that was uh, 30. Let's look then at two of these tasks. The second one, answer is Z, that's correct. The circle is at the path end, close to the road, but the flag is on the path bend. This is difficult, but not impossible to see at this distance away. But the last answer is wrong. It should also be Z. The circle is in line with the end of the house behind the fence, but the flag is further to the east. In a tempo competition, there is a 30 second penalty for every mistake made. And the winner, the person with the shortest total time, including those added penalties. Recently, an online version of tempo has become really popular worldwide. It uses all sorts of urban and wild terrain and it is great training for tempo itself. It's also free. In the UK, there's an annual trail low league with events across the country and there are trail low events suitable for all as part of the JK Festival every Easter. For more information on how, when and where you can try trail low, go to the trail low mini site on the British Orienteering website and the Facebook site British Trail Orienteering.